In this design tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to design a very simple YouTube profile. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to design your own simple YouTube profile. I've recently created a big YouTube course explaining how I make good money with YouTube and have success in growing subscribers on Udemy and you guys can also take this course right away if you want and I've got for all my loyal subscribers here on my Tronics channel here I've got a coupon code going minus 70% off the price. So again use the coupon code Tronics Design in that course yeah and it will give you hopefully success and bring you more money for your YouTube channel alright so let's get into the tutorial as you guys can see I've already imported everything here I just want to turn everything off and start again from scratch so we can maybe just start fresh I'm gonna to go to file I'm gonna to go to new and open a new canvas sheet so we can work from that in the background first of all under my name here I'm just gonna put YouTube let's type that properly YouTube profile Okay, and as well under the present, sorry, preset, I'm going to go to custom and change this to pixel and the width size for your profile needs to be 744 and as well height here 734. I wrote this down. Okay, so again, resolution can also be 300, so that's fine. Um, background color, we can set that to white for the moment and the rest is pretty okay. You're going to hit OK. And that's right away giving us a start here just with a normal background. Okay, I'm going to double tap onto the layer here and hit OK. Move this a bit into the center and we directly have a white background color. Now, my first idea is to keep this YouTube profile very, very simple. My whole channel and everything is renamed to YouTube Course. So maybe I should actually just add something simple, already giving it away in the profile picture. So saying YouTube course, so it's maybe just the YouTube play button and at the bottom course. So even if my YouTube profile picture is very small for the commenting section, you will still recognize because it's firstly red, it's going to point out, secondly it's going to have the YouTube sign in it and it's going to say course. So if you count all these steps together, it's YouTube course. Okay, so let's do that. So I went online and I found this image over here which is basically just a YouTube logo. So you can just go into Google, YouTube logo, and I found this directly, and it has a good, pretty good size, actually. So I'm going to move that into the center here. Maybe let's press Command T. I'm working with a Mac, so if you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. So Command T, which transforms it now, we can hold Shift on the keyboard and take a little anchor point here in the corner. Hold Shift, so it's equally expanding, and make this a bit bigger. Okay, let's accept that from the top. And I'm going to move this a little bit into the center still, like here. Great. So first of all, what I want to do is just steal the red color here. So very simple as well. Our layer here is still a smart object. Double tap, basically right click and just say rasterize this layer. Okay, so now what I want to do is take the marking tool on the left hand side in our tool panel here. Just select the complete canvas with this and very simply Again, create a new layer. You can also do so via here, the, the button at the bottom, just select that. And I'm going to hit right click into my canvas again and fill this selection up now with a red foreground color. So again, fill it up, just hit fill down here, go to contents. We're going to select under contents the color and I'm going to select here just the red color from this picture actually. Hit OK and OK and directly we have a red background. Great, so already pointing out, it's going to be great. I'm going to press Command D, get out of the selection and first of all also turn off this layer. OK, select also this layer again, YouTube layer. I'm going to take the Magic Wand tool over here, just select the normal Magic Wand and I'm going to select basically just the background here from the YouTube sign. Select it, it will make a perfect selection around the white area I'm going to press Command C and Command V. So duplicate paste that. As you guys can see, we've got a new layer down here. I'm going to move that up to the top and switch on the red again. So now we've just got the background here. Oh, basically the play button from YouTube, which is already recognizable. A lot of people will know what this is. But what I've already can see here, if I just turn this off again, on here it has a bit of shade. So I want to add the shade again to my play button as well. Let's turn everything on 
and I'm going to select layer 2 over here which is my button I can just quickly rename this button okay and I'm going to double tap on here and this basically brings me into the layer styles now in the layer styles I can simply go all the way down to drop shadow and give this whole object here a bit of shadow so first of all I'm going to determine to where it should go the opacity we're going to play with that in a bit um, let's try the angle first of all I'm going to put it to this angle so we actually get the shadow in here at the top and I'm going to put the distance a bit further like so that's really great but I think it's a bit too strong for the shadow so let's take the opacity maybe just to like 50% yeah a little bit too strong still 40% Great, that looks great. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, and we're done already. Super simple and quick. Now, as well, I'm going to press, or actually go over to the Tool Panel and select the Tool Panel. So basically the Text Panel over here, and I'm going to make a big selection. And obviously the whole concept was now YouTube, so you definitely get the YouTube over here. Course, so we still want to write here a course. Course, okay, I've selected already the right font. Basically, I'm working again with Bebas Neu. You guys can also find that in the description down below. So Bebas Neu is the font as well, the font size, 44 pixels around here. White foreground color, so it's matching again the logo over here, keeping it simple and not distracted. Okay, I'm going to accept that. Take also the Move tool here and just literally move that a bit into the center. Okay, and as well, we're going to the character box here just to see the tracking of the course text and the tracking is set to 40. If you guys don't have the character box, please go to Window, select Character Box over here, it will show up. Okay, this needs to go away again, thank you. So again, 40 minus 40 is the tracking, that's perfect for me because I want to basically have it set on both sides. We can also move over here and check with our guidelines, again over here and there. I can move it out a bit, but I actually like it like that. Maybe I'm going to just with my cursors and the move tool, move it a bit into the center still. Great. Next step, again, I want to copy the shade here. So go to the button layer, hit right click, say copy layer style, go back to course, right click and paste that as well. So the course also gets this nice shadow. So great, that's it. Now, last step, back to view. We're going to go to a new guide over here. I'm going to say now horizontally, I want 50% a guideline. So 50% over here, okay, and then I can directly see I need to move this up a bit. So I'm going to select course, hold shift on the keyboard, and select button layer. Take your move tool, and literally just with your cursors you can also move that up. Or if you want to take your mouse, move that up a bit higher. So I'm kind of looking at this distance and this distance. Bit lazy here with calculating a bit more with the guidelines, but that's pretty good so far. Okay, so that's basically it. Last step that I'm still going to do is go to File, Save As. So I'm basically saving this again onto my YouTube course here, Profile 1, and I'm going to save it, resave it, replace that. Great. Quality 12, that's perfect, and I've saved it. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you want to see more about this, also have a look in my YouTube course on Udemy. I've linked it again in the description down below. I hope this guy, you guys found this helpful. It's super quick and easy. Um, in my YouTube course, I talk way more about all the concepts and why I do certain things for YouTube. So if you want to check that out, go ahead over there. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.